All right, guys, doing a follow-up here on the uh, DB uh, clutch parts uh, um, disassembly and assembly here. Um, it's not that often you have to get into the inner parts of the clutch here. All right, the thrust collar. It's this piece here I have my finger on. The bearings inside it. Okay, they can at times become rusted, stuck. The DB's been sitting a long time, uh, as a lot of them are when you find them. And uh, so you might have to change the thrust collar if it has a crack in it or to take it out to get to the ball bearings to clean it up. All right. And uh, so you got to remove the entire yoke and everything. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. I want to show you one thing. The last video I mentioned, I want to show you here on your handle for your clutch. All right. The handle that goes up and down engages the clutch. Okay. This is the other minor adjustment you can make on your clutch. Right, you take the cotter pin out from the back side, you pull your rod out, okay? If you pull the rod out, okay, the spring at the end of the rod, it goes through the yoke arm of the clutch. That spring is just threaded in there, okay? So you turn this rod one way or the other to loosen or tighten the tension of the uh, thrust bearing not really adjusting the clutch itself per se the uh, the facings uh, all it's adjusting is the pressure on the um, on the, uh, the yoke and the, uh, the thrust collar okay but uh, if your facings are in good shape that adjustment works okay can you see it right there okay the spring I pulled out of it the spring goes through this hole and as you turn it you put more tension on it Okay, so, okay, now, this procedure we're doing, you disconnect this completely, take it out. Okay, okay, so now, we have to, I already did this, okay, you pin here, that goes through the yoke, down to the bottom, okay. That pin there, okay, has a cotter pin on the bottom of it, small cotter pin. You get through from the bottom, pull the cotter pin out. Pull that cotter pin out. Try not to shake this or pull it around too much. Okay, as you're doing this. I'm doing this with one hand here, so hope I can do this without totally screwing this up. Okay, pull that pin out. Okay, once that pin is out, okay, you gotta start being very careful because things can start falling out on you. There are 10 little ball bearings in here, sometimes 11, I'm told. Most ones I've pulled out have had 10. Ten little ball bearings in here. When they lock together, that's what makes the lock and clutch, as they call it, all right? The ball lock clutch. Okay? Those ball bearings are going to come falling out if you tip it the wrong way. All right? So, I'll put the camera down here. I'm going to pull that apart and try to uh, see if I can't get that out without uh, kind of an abortion on my hand. Okay? Set this camera up as best I can to videotape this. Okay, get either coffee can, cardboard box, something, okay, put it underneath here, right, um, like that, okay, a box to catch those bearings, okay, when they fall out, all right, you don't want them falling all over the place, all right, you can put a towel down on the floor, okay, to catch them like that, but I usually do this, Okay, I might be blocking your view there with this, I don't know, but I gotta do what I gotta do here. Okay, pulling this out here. And here comes the bow bearing. I see them already. Okay, They're right there. Okay. I actually did drop a couple of them. Being as careful as you can be, you're still going to drop a couple. Alright. I happen to have a bunch of these. Because these beads are just full of Personally, it's not fun, but you got to be careful with these. Okay, let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine, ten. Okay. Alright, so we got 10 ball bearings in there. Those little metal ball bearings there, okay? That came out of that thrust collar. Alright. Not 
that much to it. Okay. So there you go. Get your first collar out. All right. This comes out here. All right. It's a pressure plate to air held in by this. Sorry, I'm holding that right. I've got this thing zoomed in, man. I'm sorry. Take this nut off here. It's holding that plate in there under the pressure plate on the collar, and the collar will come out. Okay? So, that's that. Now, when you're putting this back together, alright, you see that hole there in the uh, collar? Okay, when you get it back in there, in place, you turn it to the holes on the top, okay, and you put those bearings in one at a time. Wrap those bearings in there, and then put this plate in place and the bolt on top to hold it in place. Alright, so that's the whole uh, thrust collar and, um, and yoke assembly right there. Okay, and um, these bearings, like I said, they're very easy to lose. Okay, they're very small, very small. I mean, things like a BB. I've actually heard of guys who have lost them or used BBs. I don't know how successful that was, but anyways. There's 10 of them in this one. I've heard there's 11 in some of them. I've had 10 in every one I've ever taken apart. But anyways, that's your whole thing, guys. You take it all apart, and you could uh, clean it all up, check the thrust collar for cracks or whatever. All right? clean it all up and uh, reassemble the whole thing all right and um, make sure you don't lose that keyway there okay it's usually sitting in there pretty tight but um, something to be a little concerned about one last thing I just want to mention is on the pulley on the on the clutch pulley you see that little tit right there try to get in on it a little tit right there to the to the right. Um, that's an oiling tit, and that should be on the outside when you put the pulley in. It'll be on the outside, and if you look closer, you can see a brass bearing on the inside of that um, of that pulley. Okay, that brass bearing sometimes it gets scorn, it gets uh, worn out, um, might even get uh, you know cracked. Uh, if you do have to replace that bearing, okay, use a, um, a piece of wood, all right, a dowel, closest size you could possibly get to it, drive it out with a dowel, okay, and uh, drive the new one in the same exact way, all right, so that would be the final part and uh, that you would replace on this whole system. That's about it, guys. Um, I think I touched on everything. The uh, most important thing is to be careful with those bearings, alright, make sure you get something underneath here to catch those bearings, or put a white cloth or something so that when they, if they fall you can spot them easily, alright, uh, this is very foolish actually what I did here, uh, doing it on the ground, but uh, fortunately I was able to recover all of them, so um, anyways, that's the deal guys, alright, hope this answers uh, any remaining questions there might be about the whole clutch situation, alright. Thanks for watching. Welcome, Daniel.